I think Canadians uh, understand that China is a very large economy. In fact, uh, in the not very distant future, China is going to be the largest economy in the world and therefore represents significant opportunities for Canadians. At the same time they understand uh, the Chinese economy, the Chinese political system and Chinese society is extremely different in a way that presents significant challenges. And what they expect, expect their government to do is act in a way that will take advantage of the opportunities that are offered to us without exposing us to the risks. Some people say, well, the Chinese or others may not like the situation. The fact of the matter is the Chinese and many others have a situation of trade and investment with Canada that is very much imbalanced in their favor. And I think uh, they will, uh, uh, for that reason, um, they will uh, look at this situation very pragmatically. These were difficult decisions and there will be more difficult decisions in the future. But I think the government is laying out uh, pretty clearly uh, where it wants to see things go. They're not country specific, but let me lay out specifically again what the criteria are when we're dealing with state-owned enterprises. They are to the degree to which the proposal would take control of a Canadian business as opposed to merely interest. Secondly, the degree to which a transaction would increase control over the sector, the industry more broadly. And third, they are, and most importantly, as I said, whether the state-owned enterprise in question is, uh, acts under the direct control of the foreign government.